Welcome guys back to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel and in this video tutorial I would like to show you how to knit a hat for men. No, it's not only for men, I would say it's unisex uh, but I've been asked and got many requests of how to knit men hats so I decided to make this video in case you're looking what to knit for your brother, husband or a friend. And for this hat, I was using uh, yarn from Knit Peaks. It's a super bulky yarn and it has 933 yards per 100 grams and it's uh, 1 per 100 percent wool. That's why this hat will be perfect for cold winters because it is has also a double brim and the uh, knitting needles I was using two pairs you can use only one so for the ribbon part I was using four millimeters knitting needles um, and for the main pattern uh, 4.5 millimeters knitting needles you can uh, knit if you especially if you are tight knitter just start with 4.5 and go on with 4.5 or even change for 5 millimeters at the end if you are doing a man woman hat you can attach a fur pom-pom if you are doing a man hat you can attach a yarn pom-pom so lots of variations uh, how to wear it so if you are ready and have a bulky yarn let's get started using uh, smaller size knitting needles I cast on 80 stitches the number of stitches has to be divisible by 16 and I add one more stitch I cast on 81 because I am going to use an an invisible joining method that's what I usually do when I knit in rounds and to join when you are using a circular needles not a double pointed needles you need to make something that is look like triangle so divide stitches in a way it looks like triangle let me show you and Please pay attention that all your stitches look in one direction and are not twisted like this. Slip the first stitch to the right hand needle and slip over the last stitch and drop it. Pull the tail and return the first stitch to the left hand needle. That's it. Now place the stitch marker and start ribbon. Uh, this time I'm going to knit ribbon, knit two purl two. You can knit also knit one purl one, or for example, knit three purl two also will be great. So knit two purl two. Purl two, knit two. Curl two. I'm not going to show you the whole round. Just will show how I move needles in case you are using the same magic loop method. And curl two. Okay. So now pull the left needle and 
Now push it a little bit. And pull the right needle. Like this. And go on. Knit 2, purl 2. Need to curl two. Please finish this round and I will see you here. Okay, and now round number two. So you see now you can easy move stitches. Go on ribbon, need to purl two. Here, as you can see, I am going to purl through the back loop, but it's a normal purl stitch. You go on knitting as you did it before. Look, if I turn purl stitch, then I can purl it through the front loop. But like this, I can I purl it through the back loop. Everything depends on how you grab the yarn in the previous round. But at the end it doesn't matter, just purl as you usually do. And if you want a hat with folded brim, go on ribbing until your hat reaches. 16 centimeters. Uh, if you want just a normal single brim, just finish this round and go on ribbon until this reaches 5-6 centimeters. So 5-6 or 16. And I will see you after. Welcome back. This is my ribbon. And let's measure it now. And exactly 16 centimeters. So now I'm going to switch to bigger size knitting needles. It is 4.5 millimeters. And start the first round of the main pattern. So knit 10. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten stitches. Then curl two, knit two, and curl two. So now you're going to repeat this 16 stitches. Knit 10. Curl 2. Knit 2. Curl 2. Please finish this round. Round number two. I remove smaller size knitting needles. Knit two. Roll six, knit two, curl two, again knit two, and again curl two, and repeat again. Let me count. Yes, 16. 
Let's repeat again. Need two. Pearl six. Need two. Pearl two. Need two. And pearl two again. Please finish this round till the stitch marker. Round number three <clears throat> will be the same as round number one. Need ten. Pearl two. Need two. Pearl two. Please finish this round. Round number four will be the same as round number two. Need two. Pearl six. Need two. Pearl two. Need two. Pearl two. Repeat this sixteen stitches till the end. Round number five will be the same as round number one and round number three. Need ten. Pearl two. Need two. Pearl two. And repeat till the stitch marker. After that, need uh, round number six. It will be the same as round number two and four. And then round number seven and round number eight. That will be the same as round number one and round number two. So just repeat and alternate these two rounds. So welcome guys back. In the first part, the first eight uh, rounds are done and eight more. So round number nine, need two pearl two, need two pearl two. And need eight. Let's repeat one more time. Need two, curl two. Need two. Pearl two knit eight Please finish this round Round number ten Knit two Pearl two Knit two Pearl two, knit two, and pearl six. And let's repeat again. Knit two, pearl two, knit two.
Tautu. Nitu. And now Pearl 6. Go on knitting till the stitch marker. Round number 11 will be the same as round number 9. Knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, purl 2, and knit 8. Finish this round. Round number 12 will be the same as round number 10. Knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, and purl 6. And repeat till the end. Round number 13 will be the same as round number 11 and 9. Knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, purl 2, and knit 8. Finish this round and after that knit round 14 will be the same as, as round 12, then 15, same as 13 and 16, same as 12. Repeat rounds 1, 16 until head measures 20 cm. Welcome guys back. So what I've done, I've done 16 rounds here. Then I've done 8 rounds and then I've done 4 more, so in total 12. You see these 2 garter uh, rows means 4, 4 rounds. And I'm ready to start making decreases. Let's measure the head and as I said it's about 20 centimeters. It can be a little bit uh, less, it's okay. You can, by the way, need more rounds or less rounds. If you need only round number 9 and 10, it's also okay if you reach desired length. So the first uh, round of decreases, need 2. Curl two, knit two, curl two, and here knit two, knit two together, knit two. Then again, knit two together and repeat. Knit two, curl two, knit two, curl two, knit two, here knit two together. Knit two again, knit two together, and like this, repeat decreases till the stitch marker. Around number two, there will be no decreases. 
не ту, тау ту, не ту, тау ту, я не ту, and instead тау фо. One, two, three, four. And you are going to repeat again. Need to. Tell to. Need to. Tell to. Need to. Keep tell for. Till the end. Round number three. We are going to decrease again, but this time pearl stitches. Need two and here pearl two together. I can pearl through the back loop, but it's a little bit hard, but still can do it. Otherwise, I, I just turn pearl stitches and pearl them together. Again, need two, pearl two together. And need six. Three, four, five, six. That's it. And repeat again. Need two, pearl two together. Need Two, pearl two together, knit two, uh, knit six in this case, in this round. Go on repeat until the end. Round number four. There will be no decreases, just need to curl one, need to curl one, need to and curl four. Yes, it was need before. Three, four. Please repeat knitting till the end. Round number five, and we are going to make decreases again. Knit two, curl one, knit two, curl one, knit two. Then knit two together and knit two. And repeat this, making knit two together here and then knit two in this here. Knit two, knit two together till the stitch marker. This round we are also going to make decreases. Need two, curl one, need two, curl one, need two. Now curl two together, curl one, and repeat the same. Need two, curl one, need two, curl one, need two. Curl two together, this one, and curl one to the stitch marker. Round number seven. Knit one, then knit two together. So you, I turn my knit stitch to make it easy to decrease. Then knit two. And then again this curl stitch and next knit stitch knit two together. Then here I turn again 
I'm going to decrease these two curl stitches, turn again the knit stitch together and knit two together. Like this I've got left leaning decrease. Here you can turn this curl stitch or you can by the way leave it and knit two together and this is right leaning decrease like this. So we decreased four stitches. Let's repeat. Now I turn the knit stitch. And knit two together. Then knit two. Then knit two together. Here you can, by the way, slip knit pass over. Like this, you will get left leaning decrease. And knit two together through the front loop. And here again. Knit two together, or you can make a slip knit pass over stitch, then knit two together through the front loop. Like this, you will make a right leaning decrease, and again, left leaning decrease, right leaning decrease, left leaning decrease. Knit two and right leaning decrease. I'm going to finish this round with you. Again, left leaning decrease and right leaning decrease. Left leaning decrease, knit two and knit two together. Now again, left leaning decrease, and you, you have one curl stitch, so you're going to make a decrease it with the first stitch of the next round. I'm going to remove the stitch marker and make a knit two together. Like this, and return the stitch marker. And the last round of decreases need to together all the way around. Need to together, need to together. Knit two together like this. Go on till the stitch marker. That's it, the head is ready. Now let's close the top, cut the yarn leaving 10 15 centimeters tail. You can use hook or tapestry needle or yarn needle. Thread the tail and now pull the tails through remaining stitches. From this side. And pull to close the top. And that's how it looks. Now pull the tail 
to the wrong side through the center. And pull, pull it again through remaining stitches underneath. All the way around as many times as you want. I am usually doing two, three, sometimes four times. You can also make a knot. Pull the tail and you can go around one more time. So then cut the yarn and at the beginning I had a really long tail here. So as a, I have a hat with a folded brim I'm going to give in and on the right side, if you have a single brim, leave it in, on the wrong side. So I'm doing it on the right side. Just like this, underneath one side of this V stitch. You can do it one by one. I am lazy. I, I go through four or five stitches at the same time. If you're going to use a yarn needle, it will be better. here and you see almost invisible then cut the yarn and we are done and look at this gorgeous hat really like it this is not my first hat this is the third one so guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you can, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. There will be more hats because I like knitting hats. There will be more hats for men. And if you like crocheting, there is also a crochet hat for men and it's perfect. Thank you for your steady support and I will see you soon. Bye!